Hi friends, today's video is all about gold. We're going for gold today. I have got so many acrylic gold paints to try out. I'm very excited to see which ones perform the best. I'm going to pick out my favourite and you may not agree with me but that's fine. <laughs> you may have a different favourite. Right, um, right, I'm going to move that. I don't need that. I've got some scrap black paper here. I'm going to, right, I've put out some black marks and then I'm going to paint over them and see how well the paint covers these black marks. I'm also going to try, try the gold on black paper because you get a different result. So here we go. I'm going to write. Now they're all different prices. They're all different price points. And they're all different textures. And we'll see what we get. I'm going to start with System 3 acrylic because I'm, I've had this one before and I've not been that happy with it. So I'm going to give it a go again. Yeah, this is what happened before. It's kind of thin. But it's reasonably priced for this large tube, which is... 100 mil is it? Can't read. It's a good size. It's £11.26. So that's system three. £11.26. I'm afraid the prices are in pounds, obviously, because I'm in the UK. Next, we're going to go for the Liquitex. Nice and thick. Oh, lovely. Very thick. Nice texture there. Covers reasonably well. Perhaps not so well on the black. And that was £7.30. So it's in the mid price range. Not too bad. Right, next up. Oh, let's go for the cheapest. I want to try the Arteza. Now, this is very cheap, but I don't know if you could buy them singly. I bought them in a packet of, of metallic colours for £15.49 for 12 colours. Uh, there's two golds. There's... Um, just gold and there's Aztec gold so I prefer the just the plain gold and it works out at about 133 per tube divided we well, yeah, had 15 15.99 divided by 12 is 133 per tube oh, and it's very weak very weak but quite pretty you know if that's all you can afford and if you can buy just the tube that's fine Put some on here. Should have done it in the same order, really. Covers on, covers nicely on the black. It's not too shabby. Not too shabby. So that oops, really is the cheapest. It's only a small, sorry, a small tube, 22 mil. Not even a full fluid ounce. So that's kind of what I would expect it to be. You know, adequate. Let's. Oh, now some recommended this to me. Deco art. Now I couldn't get the right colour. I've had to get champagne gold. It's not it's not so readily available over here in the UK. I found one supplier, I can't remember the name. Um, can't remember. I found one supplier and I got it from them, but they only had the champagne gold in. It may vary at other times. Oh, that's pretty, I quite like it. <laughs> Does that show up quite well? Let's pop it on here on the black. Doesn't cover the black quite so well, but I've not got much on my brush there. Let's get some more on my brush. That's pretty. It's definitely got mica in. <laughs> yes, it's almost a silvery gold. That's quite pretty. That's kind of what you expect from a champagne gold. Covers a little bit better than the Arteza does. And the price is £3.49. So it's the lower end of the middle range, if you get my meaning. Now, when I was on the Deco Art Supplier site, oh, put my price on there. I found this. Now, this is kind of expensive. It's a big, it's a big tub. Eight fluid ounces, two hundred thirty-six mil, and that was twelve ninety-nine. But oh my goodness, it's oh, such a lot in there. Look at it. Oh, it's got an interesting smell. It did make me worry that it was. Um, a solvent based paint but it isn't so I've checked it's um it is a water based paint all right let's try this let's take a bit off the lid I don't know if you meant to stir it a lot or something first should I get a, should I get a stick give it a good stir oh it's ever so thick that was quite nice yes yeah, surprisingly thick and I think it 
Probably is a good idea to give it a stir. Thinner than I thought. That's disappointing. I thought it, I thought it was going to be dead lush. It's not too bad. And I apply a, apply it again. Let's try it on the black. Doesn't cover brilliantly on the black. So that's kind of disappointing, actually. I thought that would be better, especially when I think of the price. Okay, next. Oh, this is the um the old Holland, right? Now I think someone's recommended that to me. I did pose the question on PM Artist Studios uh, Mixed Media Art Stroke Artists Facebook page for people to suggest different golds. And they, I got, I got so many suggestions, I thought, right, I'm going to do a comparison, find out for myself which I like, because I think we have personal preferences as well. I think we do when it comes to the colour. That's very weak. Very weak. Very weak and watery, that one. And that's not that cheap. That's, hey, that can't be right. That was £8.92 and it's this wishy-washy. Let's put it on thicker then. Oh, disappointing. Wow. An old Holland's a good make, I always thought. That price it is. But I'm trying to cover it a bit more. It's a bit better, but yeah, that's not brilliant. <laughs> that is disappointing. Okay, so next... Oh, let's go for the really cheap one. This one is so cheap, it's unbelievable. £2.50 for this giant tube of acrylic. What colour? It just says deep gold. And it's from Amsterdam. This is very educational for me. I hope you're learning as you, as you watch as well. Right. Oh, pretty good for £2.50. Oh, that's as good as the System 3 in my book. Pleasantly surprised. I thought it'd be awful. <laughs> For that price, I was expecting something dreadful, but that's not bad. Not bad at all. Doesn't show up quite so well on the black. Let me bring the black over because I haven't been showing that so well. It's kind of adequate, but not the best on black. Okay, so yeah, I'm pleasantly surprised. So I would conclude, don't spend £11.26 for System 3, spend £2.50 for Amsterdam <laughs> if you want similar coverage. <laughs> right, next. Let's go for the, oh, Windsor & Newton. I've been wanting to try that one because I'm very fond of the Windsor & Newton, Newton watercolours. I use them a lot. Uh, so I think the manufacturer in my book is quite a good manufacturer. Now this comes in at £8.90, so it's rather expensive. So it better be good. I mean, their watercolour professional artist range is expensive, so I'm not surprised. Nice and thick. Hmm. Hmm. It's okay. I feel as if I've had to put quite a lot down to get coverage there. It's good on the on the black, but I can still see the black showing through. So it's okay. Now if you put it on thick, it does cover quite well, but it's hard to put it on that thick normally. So I reserve my opinion on that. See how the others perform. Right, now I've got this one. This is a little bottle I got called Robison Liquid Metal. And this is Regency Gold, so it's a little bit darker than the golds I like to use. We'll see how well it covers. So I much prefer a more classic gold. And it has a, a funny scent. Apparently this can be watered down to using your um, spray gun. Wow, that does cover well. That's very dense, very pretty. Okay, let's try it on the black. Yes, that covers beautifully. Oh, wow. Right, I'll show you that. Look at it on the black. Lovely, isn't it? And this is it on the white. It's almost obliterated the black line underneath. Now that is impressive. So that's Robison. Let's write that down. Robertson and that was five pound what did I say five pound eighty so it's in the mid-range it's only a small bottle how big is that I think it's about 30 mil 
yeah I'm, I'm impressed with that the coverage is great the color not so sure about it's got leans towards the green for me not actually green but leans that way right oh Vallejo let's try this one next this is a company I've not bought from before but they paint their own sample on the front of the tube and I quite often think that's a good company that does that sort of thing I don't know if this comes from Spain Reasonably priced, so possibly it does. Quite thin. A bit disappointing, really. I tried to put extra on as well there. Um, running out of space on the black. Doesn't cover brilliantly on the black. But, you know, it's got a nice shimmer to it. I'll show you the shimmer. Quite a nice shimmer. So that's £6.42, so it's in the mid-range. It possibly comes from Europe, so if you're in the States, that might be harder for you to get hold of. Now, this one I'm excited about, Schmincke, because I love their watercolours. I've saved my two. Two favourites for last, actually, Golden and Schmincke. So I've been wanting to know this, which gold I prefer for a long time. Oh, wow, that's, that is, oh, it's beautiful. Right, let's get some of this down. Wow. Now, you probably can't see this on camera, but it's got a lot of very fine particles of mica in. I can see it's very finely ground. If I put it on quite thickly, it covers quite well. Let's put some on here. That's really rather lovely. I wish you could see that as well as I can see it. It's got a lot of shimmer. It's better on the white, actually. It covers beautifully. It does cover that black really well. And I could just tell there's a lot of mica in there and it's very finely ground. And it shimmers the most of all of them. You probably can't see this on film. Wow. Okay, so far that has got my vote. So finally the golden, the most expensive one at £15.40. Oh, better write down what that how much that one was. That was the Schmincke. At how much was it? £10.50. So it's not cheap. It's up there with the more expensive paints. Now the golden. I'm excited to use the golden. Okay. Well, I hope you're enjoying this. Do let me know down below if you have any golds that you really, really like that I haven't shown here. Or if you see some of these and think, oh, yes, I like those. Right, this is the golden. This is the most expensive of them all. Oh, and it does cover well. And it's a lovely gold. It's a nice warm gold. Covers beautifully. Let's try it on the black. I wish I had a larger area for it now. It's not too thick. Very nice. Doesn't cover the black quite so well. Well, that's interesting. I thought it'd look good on the black. Wow. It's, it is really lovely. But to me, the Schmincke is better. Hmm. Are they the same size tube? Yeah, the same size tubes. So if I, I would stick with Schmincke. If you're going to go for an expensive one, I would go for the Schmincke. Very interesting. Very interesting. The golden was how much? 15.40. So that's very expensive, but it is quite lovely. And so, yes, comparing these with, I mean, I'm the one I'm used to using is the System Three. It's that these are miles above the Robisons. I really like as well. Yes, I would definitely, I think my favourite is the Schmincke. That's my number one favourite. I would possibly go for the Robertson, although it's probably a bit too dense. And it also doesn't have as much shimmer. I don't know if you can see that. 
The others practically go white when I do that, except for the Robertson. So that's that's not going to be my number two. I really like the golden. That does cover beautifully. But it's not so economical. It's a toss-up, actually, between the Winsor & Newton and the golden, which one I like best. I would think, for me, over here in the UK, Winsor & Newton is more economical. So for me, I would have that at number two. But if you're in the States or in the area, then the Golden might be your number two because it would be cheaper for you over there. That would be expensive for you and that would be cheaper for you, whereas it's the opposite way around here. So that would be my number three. I do like it. I mean, they're all good. But those are my three favourites. Let me know what you think down below. Let me know if there's something here that you liked that I didn't like. I'd be very interested to know your opinion because we all have different uses for these and, you know, we have different requirements. I'd use them just in mixed media art, you see. If you're new here, please subscribe. It'd be lovely to have you here with me. I do all sorts of interesting things on this channel. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.